Terry Barber is a best-selling author and founder of Lighthouse Catholic Media. Jesse Romero is a retired law enforcement officer, a former kickboxing champion with a master's degree in theology. And together, they share a passion for evangelization and PhDs in common sense. You're listening to The Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. To join the show, call 888-526-2151. Here's Terry and Jesse. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. That's Psalm 27. That's today's entrance antiphon at Holy Mass. Uh, I'm a little bit saddened, but when you get sad, you want to pray. I want to pray for uh, a pro-life congressman, Steve Scalise, who was injured in a shooting yesterday. Are you appalled by yesterday's shooting of a sitting congressman? What do you do when you're appalled? Well, let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, we pray for Congressman Steve Kalisa, Lord. We ask that you give him and his family, Lord, especially him, a speedy recovery. Lord, give him the grace, Lord, to, to, to keep his faith strong in you and give his family the grace to be able to endure this time of suffering. We pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What do we know about the good congressman? He's one of the top pro-life congressmen in the country. Yep. He was injured in a shooting yesterday uh, by somebody who had, it was, it, was, it was basically a political attack. If, if uh, you want to learn more about it, you can go on catholicrc.org or jesseromero.com, and you can click on the article if you want to see more. But uh, Congressman Steve Scalise, he has a long record of fighting uh, against abortion. Again, he's a top pro-life uh, Republican in the House of Representatives, and, the, and he's also the House Majority Whip. He was, answer, he was injured when congressmen were having practicing for a softball game, an annual <laughs> congressional softball game. I guess it was a fundraiser. That's right. And the, the gunman wounded both the Republican lawmaker as well as other people there. And uh, I, w- I want to give kudos to those brave police officers. They were also shot, but they also returned fire, and they took the suspect down. Uh, the, po- the police officers were injured themselves, but ultimately they, sh- they shot the gunman who's now in captivity. They, he's, uh, they, they've arrested him. Five people were taken to the hospital, and uh, Congressman Scalise appears to have suffered uh, more damage than anybody else. And so just keep them in your prayers. Hey, have you heard about this good news? A couple of good news items. Absolutely. And a- it's a sign of hope. I love signs of hope. The fact is, China could be the future of Christianity. Did you know that? China's total Christian population will reach 247 million people by 2030. Did you know that? And how about this? Do you have a problem with this? A coach fired for praying after a football game. He gets his day in court on Monday. Coach Joe Kennedy of Bremerton, Washington, not only has a powerful legal team on his side, but he also has NFL Hall of Famers that are lending support and saying this man should be allowed to pray. What about this? Does this restore your faith in some entertainers? It does me. Absolutely. Justin Bieber reassures a crowd of, of, of God's goodness in the face of evil at a concert, at a benefit concert that they had in the wake of last week's shooting. Well said. And, shooting. Yep. And if you want all those articles, just go to CatholicRC.org or JesseRomero.com and you can read all about those things. Today actually is Corpus Christi Day. Uh, in Rome it is. And uh, we're going to transfer to the following Sunday, which is this Sunday. So I want to ask you, have you thought about your belief in the real presence? Because that is something so, so important. Also, when we hear about the good news of people standing up for their faith, you know all week we've been working on getting support for Immaculate Heart Radio and for our brother Christians in Iraq and Syria. And I want to mention mention something to our listeners. Have you thought about this? Have you thought about what gift you're going to give your dad or maybe in honor of your dad that has passed? I'm going to suggest that you give the gift that lasts. Call 888-887-7120 and say, I want to make that $50 pledge in honor of my father as a Father's Day gift, whether he's passed on or whether he's living. I got to tell you, I mean, I get shorts, I get ties, my kids get me things for Father's Day, a new wallet. Those are all great. But can you imagine 
I'm going to ask you again, individually, what have you got your dad for this Sunday's Father's Day? Or what would you like to give your father who's passed away in honor of him a, a lasting gift? I think if you gave the $50 a month uh, con- contribution to Immaculate Heart Radio, which will feed these families for a full rest of the year, and it supports here Immaculate Heart Radio, if you haven't given that money yet, for supporting a family, do it in honor of dad. It's the fourth commandment. Honor thy father and thy mother. Call 888-887-7120. I'd like to see the phones go off the hook because people love their dad enough to say, I'm going to do something for my father I've never done. I'm going to give a gift to Immaculate Heart that's going to support a family at $50 a month. Or if you just do it one time, if you can't do the $50, put it in honor of good old dad and say, Dad, I'm supporting Catholic Radio here at Immaculate Heart, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, support the families in the Middle East who are suffering. Let me just read something quick for Father's Day coming up, and then you can think about this. Have you thought about letters that your dads have, have sent us? I'm going to read a letter that my dad gave me when I was a kid, and it affected me. If you want a copy, I'll give it to you. Here it says, Dear Son, as long as you live in this house, you'll follow the rules. When you have your own house, you can make your own rules. <laughs> in this house, we do not have a democracy. I did not campaign, campaign, campaign to be your father. You did not vote for me. We are father and son by the grace of God, and I accept that privilege and awesome responsibility. In accepting it, I have an obligation to perform the role of a father. I'm not your pal. Our ages are too different. We can share many things, but we are not pals. I am your father. This is a hundred times more than what a pal is. I am also your friend, but we are on entirely different levels. You will do in this house as I say, and you cannot question me. Listen to this, everybody, because whatever he asked, I ask, is, I ask you to do is motivated by love. This will be hard for you to understand until you have a son of your own. Until then, trust me, fa- your father. He, my dad gave me that letter when I was a kid, and I said, wow, that gave me you know, strength, and I read that to my kids. If you want a copy, my email's terry at saintsaintjoe.com. I'd love to give it to you so you can read it to your kids. Speaking of the Holy Eucharist, let me, have you heard of this powerful reflection by Archbishop Sheen? Uh, Bishop Sheen gives a daily quote in a book called The Daily Quotes of Fulton Sheen. Every single day, if you want to see what Fulton Sheen says to us, you can go to my website. I got his daily reflections with Fulton Sheen. So what did he say to us in June 15th? What does the great archbishop tell us today? He says this, quote, There are two ways of knowing, knowing from the outside and knowing from the inside, knowing by study and knowing by communion. Hence, sacred scripture always speaks of the union of husband and wife as knowledge. For example, Adam knew Eve and she conceived. Mary says, I know not man. Paul said, husbands possess your wives in knowledge. The Old Testament said, Solomon knew her not. There is a knowledge that comes from the intimate, personal union of husband and wife that transcends any other kind of knowledge. And so in the Eucharist, there is another kind of knowledge by communion that is not given to us by study. This is the incorporation to the higher life. So notice what Archbishop Sheen says today, June 15th, to everybody, every Catholic around the world. He's saying, you have one type of study, studying the Bible. You get some type of knowledge there, obviously, the Word of God. But there's another type of knowledge. It's called intimate knowledge, like in marriage, he says. And you only get this by receiving the Eucharist. That's an intimate knowledge of Jesus that it's a very special type of knowledge that you can't get anywhere else. And so I think this is, for me... This is causing my neurotransmitters in my brain and my synapses to fire to hear about this type of intimacy that you get with Jesus in Holy Communion. Thank you, Bishop, for your daily quote. I got to tell you something, Jesse. That's a beautiful quote. And one of my neighbors here at the Sacred Heart Chapel was walking her dog, and she had a great comment. She said, uh, she said, you know, sometimes I feel a little down. I said, well, why don't you listen to our radio show? What radio show? She listened to it. She heard us talk about Bethlehem, meaning house of bread. That blew her away. So I want to thank her for listening. She's listening now. And that's what's so neat about this program, because we try to lift people up. Before we go to a break, I want to have a little clip played. But before I do that, I want to remind you that if anybody wants to go to dinner with Terry and Jesse, 
I mean, I said five thousand dollars last time we did a fundraiser, and a gentleman came and he popped down five thousand dollars. We don't get the five. I don't care about us getting the five thousand. Immaculate Heart needs it, but we can also use that for funding for the families in the Middle East. So if you want to have a nice dinner, I'll tell you 39 years of evangelization. I got stories about bishops who were shot and forgave them. No, it wasn't St. John Paul II, another bishop. I'll tell you all kinds of great stories. If you want to do that, call the toll-free number, 888-887-7120. Plus, remember, you can actually put this in honor of your father for Father's Day, your $50 a month or whatever you donate. Put it in honor of your dad who passed away or he's living today and give it to him as an honor of what the fourth commandment says. We're going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to play a clip when we come back about what the value of Catholic radio. So at this time, let's send it right back to Jerry and Debbie. All right, thanks, you guys. I'm Jerry Usher with Debbie Debbie Giorgiani. Giorgiani. (laughs) And you, and boy, you are coming through, Debbie. The, the phones, phones are, are ringing. ringing. We're still tallying up pledges from last hour, but you uh, you get really close to that goal. You might even have made it. That's amazing. And you're still calling. There's some some on the uh, lines making their pledges right now. We want to hear from you. This is a new hour, new goal. We've got an exciting challenge that's going to happen this hour, so we want you to stay tuned in all hour long. I, of course you are. You're listening to Terry and Jesse, and we are as well. 888 888- 887-7120 or ihradio.com. Yeah, we're in a very, very important part of the pledge drive right now, heading into tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day, the final day, and we have to have 100% full funding for the coming broadcast months, and right now we're at 75%, so we're doing well. You're doing fantastic. We want to congratulate you and thank you, and if you have not been among those who's called this week, will you do it right now? 888-887-7120, 888-887-7120, or you can pledge online at ihradio.com. And boy, Debbie, you mentioned something exciting, I know. and you have the, the t- information in your hands. I do. Parishioners at two parishes teamed up and is making this challenge possible. It's a $6,000 match, $6,000 match by these two parish, uh, parishes, the parishioners at these parishes, St. Bernadette's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I love that St. Ber- I love St. Bernadette. You know, the whole, sto- the whole story of St. Bernadette. She's an incorruptible saint. You got to read about it. But St. Bernadette's in Albuquerque and Holy Spirit Parish in Sacramento right here. So come on, you guys. You guys, the parishioners there teamed up together, made this $6,000 challenge possible this hour, but only for pledges. But a $25 a month pledge and above, they will match right now. And you do not have to be from those listening areas, Sacramento and New Mexico, Albuquerque. Certainly, if you are, we definitely want to hear from you. But this is a match for anyone, anywhere, right now. One half hour of programming. A simple, hopefully manageable $25 a month gift to Immaculate Heart Radio. And that annual amount, it's $300 over 12 months, and that's the amount they'll match. So if you can find your way to that $25 a month, you'll in essence be giving $600 right now to Immaculate Heart Radio. But Debbie, we want people to consider getting to the $50 a month level because that will feed a family, a family in Syria or Iraq and that 600 annual amount is what will be matched well to $1200 and you'll be getting um, you'll be feeding a family think about that feeding a family for the rest of the year in Syria or Iraq remember their homes their communities their parishes were torn up by ISIS and they are really in need of help and they're Christian they believe in the same Christ as we all do so that's important we're brothers and sisters in Christ and we we must take care of one another. And you can do that by $50 a month. And like Jerry said, we times that by 12 for the purposes of this challenge. And that $600 becomes $1,200. You'll also get the 13 Powerful Ways to Pray by Father Tobin. I love this book. This is a must-have book. It really does expand your mind on how to pray and how to receive God's message. Please get get the book. Um, and you'll also get the uh, 20-year Immaculate Heart of Mary medal, Jerry, which I love. 888 887 7120. 888 
888-887-7120 or ihradio.com. This dollar for dollar match on any pledge of $25 a month. You make a new $25 a month donation to Immaculate Heart Radio and the $300 for the year will be doubled. Of course, $50 a month, that's $600. That'll be doubled. If you want to feed two families in Iraq and Syria, $100 a month. If you can, please do that because your total amount, all of which stays in Immaculate Heart Radio, would be $2,400. That's right. So we need to really hurry to the phones and use up this $6,000 challenge. We don't want to disappoint the parishioners at St. Bernadette's and Holy Spirit Parishes. So please help out right now. Do your part. There's several on the lines making their pledges. That's a good sign, but we've got plenty of room. We've got room for you. So please, it takes about three minutes. Call in and make your pledge and be generous. Stretch. It'll make you feel great that you're helping others in Syria or Iraq. 888-887-7120. Leave us your prayer intentions. We have them all. We don't have time to read them all, but we have them. 888-887-7120. I'll be there. We're black. Blue Collar Catholic Radio. Terry and Jesse show. Today's gospel it has people's head scratching where Jesus Christ says in Matthew chapter 5, he says uh, in verse 22, he says, But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says you fool will be liable to fiery Gehenna. So people are probably scratching their head and they're saying, okay, Jesus told us not to say a bad word. So what does Raka mean? The word rock is an Aramaic word, and it means you fool, or it means you're worthless, or it means you're empty-headed, uh, or it means you lack intelligence. It was, it was uh, a term of contempt used by the Jews at the time of Christ, so hopefully that'll help you understand today's gospel, because people say, what does the word raka mean? <clears throat> we want to raise money, obviously, to keep the keep the, the toilets flushing, the lights on, and yep. the microphones on here on Immaculate Heart Radio. But there's also a secondary purpose. We also want to help out our Christian brothers and sisters in Syria and in Iraq. And uh, so there's a twofold there's a twofold reason for this fundraiser. Some of you are wondering, we live here in America where it's nice and comfortable and we have our air conditioners and our cars and our groceries and all, all the amenities. But not, not everybody lives like we do in America. And somebody, in fact, asked me a question about how many people have been killed, how many Christians have been killed in the last hundred years and where. And so that's a question. Dear Jesse Terry, I heard that Christians are being persecuted right now more than in any part of history. If you want, I, I wrote a, in fact, I stood up about an hour uh, <laughs> and a half writing this because I did some really good research on it. So if you want to hear what I did on my blog, jessyromero.com, I showed you which century has had more persecution. I give you the numbers of the people that have been killed. And I also uh, give you some definitions where people want, you know, what does the word white martyr mean? What does red martyr mean? I define those things. Who was the first martyr in the Bible? I show you in my blog. Uh, is martyrdom, is, is that a grace of the Holy Spirit that you receive? Yep, I show you where the Holy Spirit gives you the grace of martyrdom. I also show you where the catechism shows where there's going to be an increase of persecution before the second coming of Christ, if you want to see where that's in the catechism. And finally, in this blog on martyrdom, I also wrote about martyrs in heaven, and most people don't know this. You know what the martyrs in heaven are doing right now? I know this is politically incorrect, but it's in the Bible. So you just got to go with it, yep. even, if you don't, even if it makes you scratch your head. In Revelation chapter 6, verse 9, the Bible basically says this, that the martyrs in heaven, those are the saints in heaven who were killed unjustly, it says they're in heaven right now, and they're crying to the Lord for mercy. Oops, nope, that's not what they're crying to God for. Read it. It says they're crying to the Lord for ven- vengeance and justice upon their killers who are on the earth. Now, these are saints who are perfected in God's grace, and they're in heaven saying, God, when are you going to take revenge on those who killed us? These were first century Catholics. It's in Revelation chapter 6, verse 9. It's a complete article on martyrdom. If you want to get more, just go to Jesse Romero and go to my blog 
and you'll get all that information. Here at the Terry and Jesse Show, have you noticed we try to instruct every hour of our program? Have you noticed that? Because people tell me, Terry, I learned so much about my faith, and you lift me up. Yeah, we say I'm too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be disappointed, and if hope was money, we'd be billionaires. You know why? We feed on the Word of God. That's where our source is, our Word of the God and the Eucharist. Now, I want to just play a clip in a minute to show you what people are saying about Catholic radio and the, and the benefit of it. But before I do that, I like to quote Fulton Sheen. You hear me say, full Sheen ahead? Here's what Bishop Sheen said. There's no other subject of which the average mind is so much confused as the subject of tolerance and intolerance. Think about this for today. Bishop Sheen says, tolerance applies only to persons, but never to principles. Intolerance applies only to principles, but never to persons. So think about that. The most merciless thing we can do is let someone wallow in their sin under the title tolerance. You won't get that here at the Terry and Jesse show. Now, we want to do it with charity, okay? So I want to make a little pitch to you to call and make that $25 a month pitch where you can get the $300 in a year and, you know, help, help us in Catholic Radio and help support the missions in the Middle East, or those folks in Lebanon or, or Syria and uh, Iraq, you know, can do that. But I want to really appeal to you on your fourth commandment that we all have. What is that fourth commandment? Honor thy father, thy mother. So here's what happened. If your dad has passed away like my dad 25 years ago, Jesse, he, his dad died. Okay. Hey, I'm going to give my $25 in honor of Harry Barber or Jose Robles, whatever the name might be. Because now you can give that money in honor of your dad and give that to him as a spiritual gift, whether he's dead or alive. If he's alive, give it to him physically. But if not, say, Dad, I'm doing this in honor of you. Please, it's Father's Day. Let's, get, let's dig deep to support Immaculate Heart Radio and our families in the Middle East who are suffering by calling 888-887-7120. Mr. Engineer, can you play a clip about the value of Catholic Radio, please? You guys are like the masculine version of Mother Angelica because you all don't pull any punches. And um, I'm just very proud of uh, both of you. Well, you know, when you mentioned Mother Angelica, she is a personal friend of mine from back in the 80s. And she is a model. I'll just say it. I mean, I think someday the church is going to uh, raise her to the honors of sainthood. Okay? I said it on the radio. That's just my take. And all I can say is any good that we do comes from God, and I thank him for it. Think about what you're receiving on Immaculate Heart Radio. Think about this. Yep. Tens of thousands of listeners are getting Christian counseling for their marriages, family counseling, children counseling. You get spiritual direction you get encouragement you get bible answers apologetic answers yep you get the local and national news with the eyes of the church with the perspective of faithful catholics that's valuable you're continually formed in the doctrines of the catholic church and what does all this do at the, when, when as you're listening at the end of your radio or your computer or your iphone or your ipad your heart is being inflamed with love for god and what does this do? It gives you courage uh, and peace and joy to face the challenges of life. That's what we want to do in Immaculate Art Radio for you. Many people have sacrificed to continue keeping IHR on, on, on the radio. Okay? Yep. And it's time for you to keep this torch of faith going and to pass it on to the next generation. Father's Day this Sunday. I know a lot of fathers here on earth, obviously, they have other things that excite them more than the faith, unfortunately. But I'll tell you, your fathers in heaven, huh, they get it. They know that there's nothing more important than the Catholic faith. They know that the Catholic faith is more precious than silver and gold. Your dad in heaven, to honor him, obviously, offer a mass card for him. Yep. Offer a mass for, his, for this Good. Sunday for your father if he's deceased. But also say, Dad, for you... I'm going to pledge because you know right now from the vantage point of heaven, from the communion of saints, from the church triumphant, you know how important the Catholic faith is and the Catholic messages and the Catholic gospel is. So, Dad, I'm going to pledge in your name Amen. because you right now, you are completely self-detached from everything in the world. Unfortunately, the rest of us here on planet Earth, we're still in the process of self-detachment. But those <laughs> in heaven, they get it. And your dad, if he can talk to you right now from heaven and say, son, daughter, 
you got to support Catholic Radio because we want to populate heaven with God's sons and daughters. And call 888-887-7120. Remember what, full, remember what St. John Paul II said, freedom consists not in doing what we like, but in having the right to do what we ought. Let's implement that fourth commandment that Jesse just mentioned, honor thy father and thy mother. I can't think of a better thing to do for the salvation of souls as to give a money to Immaculate Heart Radio for the folks in the Middle East, plus they're doubling it, so it's staying in uh, Immaculate Heart Radio, plus the money that $50 a month is going to feed families for the end of the year. What a great combination. And I look at it this way. Every action's like a blank check. If Christ's name is on it, it has infinite value. So here's what I want to ask you to do. Suck it up. Yeah, I mean it. Sorry. Suck it up. Make a sacrifice because... You know, you cannot be outdone in generosity, okay? You can't. You give that money to IH8 Radio, the aid to the church in need with the priests and nuns that are going to feed those people. Think of what could happen to those families 50 years from now, 20 years from now. Matter of fact, you might be seeing them in heaven. Yes, please, God. And they're going to say, hey, Mike, Mary, thank you very much. We were down and out, and you helped me get back on my feet. You know, my son, he was only five years old when you did that. He ended up becoming a priest and a power preacher who brought literally thousands of people back to the Catholic faith. And you're there going, really? I didn't know when I made that call. Yeah, because you know what? A hundred years from now, what do you think is going to be better? Go buy a pair of shoes for dad or another tie? No way. Call this number, 888-887-7120. Make a difference for life and for the salvation of souls because if you don't do it, who will? And I know someone's going to say, oh, well, let someone else do it. No, if you're waiting for me to say you, who's listening right now, please pick up the phone, make a sacrificial gift to Immaculate Heart Radio, help support those families in the Middle East, and you'll see that the benefits are out of this world. Call 888-887-7120 and make that commitment now, and it'll change the life of all. I'm going to turn it right back over to Jerry and Debbie. One of the worst humanitarian crises of our time is happening now in Syria and Iraq. Chemical attack killed dozens of people in a rebel-held area. Their heritage here dates back to the time that the religion began. Immaculate Heart Radio has partnered with Aid to the Church in Need during this pledge drive to help feed Christian families in Syria and Iraq. Make a new $50 a month pledge to Immaculate Heart Radio, and in turn, ACN USA will feed a Christian family displaced by war in Syria and Iraq through the end of the year. For a $100 a month pledge, two families will be fed through the end of the year. 100% of your gift to Immaculate Heart Radio stays here and keeps the good news on the radio. While at the same time, aid to the church in need donors will feed displaced Christian families in the Middle East. Call 888 887 7120 to make your new $50 or $100 a month pledge or pledge online at ihradio.com. If you want to do that great act of charity, now is the time, dear listeners, when your dollars are doubled. Remember now, everything that you give during this pledge drive, our summer pledge drive, stays here at Immaculate Heart Radio. But when you pledge $50 a month, you uh, sponsor an hour of broadcasting. And that uh, annual amount right now, $600, is doubled by some great matching donors. And we have other uh, wonderful, generous people who are funding the, the feeding of a family in Syria or Iraq for the rest of this year. In your name, because you pledge to Immaculate Heart Radio. It's through our partnership of Aid to the Church in Need, and it's just wonderful. You'll just know that uh, priests and sisters, religious sisters, will be uh, giving out the food to these wonderful Christian families that are really, they really don't know what the future holds for them. So you can make a difference in their lives. You're buying them time so that they can be uh, fed and taken care of until they can get to a safer location and live out the rest of their Christian families, just like we're all trying to do. So make a difference right now. We have this wonderful $6,000 match happening right now. Thanks to parishioners at St. Bernadette's in Albuquerque and Holy Spirit Parish in Sacramento. So we want to use up uh, every penny of the $6,000 and match that because that'll really help us get to our hourly goal of $20,000 this hour. So we really need your help. We've got several on the lines making their pledges, but guess what? 
there's room, plenty of room for you. 888 888- 887-7120. We'll have some thank yous in a minute. First, some listening area updates. Albuquerque. Well, every one of these has to be at 100% by tomorrow. Albuquerque, you are now 84% way to go. Las Vegas, 90%. You're 10% away. Las Vegans, pick up that phone and call 888-887-7120. You know, you want wherever you are, you want your listening area to be strong and fully funded. Monterey is at 88%, Sacramento 76, Los Angeles 78%, Debbie. I know. So many of you are really making a run for that to be fully funded for the next few months. And that's what you should do because it's listener supported. That means all of us doing our part. If you can't cannot financially pledge, then please pray that we have a successful pledge drive and pray that hearts are open to be moved to pledge. Because we have to be fully funded. Because children and our grandchildren depend on it. Catholic Radio deserves to go strong into the future. And you can make that happen by your one call. We're not asking you to be 100 calls. Just one. Yours. Because it's a perfect call right now. 888-887-7120. Or safe and secure online at ihradio.com. Well, about half of that matching $6,000 has been called in by you, our listeners. Thank you so very much. Tamara in Carlsbad, $25 a month, half-hour program sponsorship, and that annual amount gets matched of $300. It's any pledge of $25 a month or above right now is matched. Joseph in Scottsdale, $50 a month. That'll feed a family in Iraq or Syria, and your $600 for the year, Joseph, is matched. John in San Bruno, $50 a month. Theodore in Rio Linda, $50 a month. Thank you all. And there is room, like Debbie said. And I'm just going to say we got uh, four people on the phone right now. Let's let's make that 10. What do you say? I think it's a great idea, Jerry. 888-887-7120 or ihradio.com. Please make sure at least you get in on the $25 a month. Then you'll get the beautiful book by Father Tobin, 13 Powerful Ways to Pray. Keep calling, keep pledging. We need to hear from you. We're going to send you back to Terry and Jesse, but here is the number 888-887-7120. Immaculate Heart Radio is here to increase your spiritual bandwidth, and we're trying to help you get holy or die trying. <laughs> Today's first reading, I'm going to tie it in to, so open up your Bibles for uh, for all of you that want to get some exegesis on how this is going to be tied into this uh, this fundraiser. It's in Paul's letter to the, to the Corinthians. Look at what he says here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse, verse 3. Very interesting. He says this, And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose, in, in whose case the God of this age, and that's a direct reference to Satan, by the way, lowercase g, the God of this age, Satan, has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the light of the gospel or the glory of Christ. Stop there. So, Satan causes spiritual blindness. The Bible's very clear. And that's why so many people in our family network of friends cannot see the beauty and power and the light of the gospel. So, how do we personally get closer to Christ so that we can seek with clarity? Well, the Bible told us today in today's first reading. It says today in today's first reading, quote, all of us gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord who is the spirit. Guess what? You know where you're transformed from glory to glory? Two places, adoration and receiving communion as often as possible. That's how that verse. So if you want to become transformed from glory to glory, Go to communion as much as possible and go to adoration. At least try to do a weekly uh, hour if if you can. But look at the very first verse of today's reading because this is for the people that are listening right now. It says, Brothers and sisters, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Ah, so what does the Bible say? That in some way, shape, or form, even today, the Jews, there's a spiritual blindness. Anybody who doesn't know the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ, there's a spiritual blindness. How does that veil remove? The Bible tells us. 
They have to turn to the Lord. How are they going to turn to the Lord without Immaculate Heart Radio? This is the way we turn people to the Lord Jesus Christ. In order to fulfill what St. Paul said today at Holy Mass, in order for us to remove the veil, as the Bible says, the spiritual blindness that's oftentimes demonic, the best way to do this and the easiest way is through the constant word of God and evangelization and Christian messages being put out through Immaculate Heart Radio that goes into your computer, your iPhone, your, your radio, and uh, in, in the privacy of your home. And this way people are constantly hearing the message of truth and the veil that Satan has put there is being taken off. Well said, and that's why you want to call that number 888 888- 887-7120, be part of that solution. You know, when I hear, I mean, are you aware that Justin Bieber, he reassured a crowd on June 4th of God's goodness in the face of evil at a concert? Are you aware of that? I thought that's great that some of these famous people are saying, God is good in the midst of darkness. He told the crowd, June 4th, God is good in the midst of evil. God is in the midst, no matter what happened to the world, God is in the midst, and he loves you. And he's here for you. This was at the Manchester bombing in honor of raising money for the funds in England. But I love when people stand up. What I call it is a Jesus moment. When you're not afraid to say, you know what, I believe in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to ask you a question here, here in America. Have you had that come up at work or at the ballpark where you, you know, you have to speak up for our Lord? Well, I would say Catholic Radio, especially Immaculate Heart Radio, is encouraging you to speak the truth in charity because Many times, you're the only person that's going to speak up for the gospel. And that's why here, right now, Immaculate Heart Radio is raising funds for our brothers and sisters in the Middle East and Iraq and Syria who are being, I'll just be honest with you, they're being crushed by ISIS. I know that's not nice to say, everybody, but the facts are the facts. And we need to stand up for our brothers and sisters. I'll never forget this. When I was a young man, a priest, I was going to confession. He said, you need to pray three Hail Marys. For a group in China who are being persecuted right now, Christians are. I said, wow, that's, I never thought about my prayers could have an effect uh, halfway around the world. Yes, not only your prayers, but your commitment financially. Right now we have matching funds, 3000 more dollars. So when you give $25, that's $50. And again, with Father's Day coming Sunday, you know, for in honor of your father who gave you life, your mom and fa- dad gave you life together. What a great way to honor them. And when you make that pledge, say, I'm giving this in the name of Harry Barber, my dad, $25. Call 888-887-7120. Be part of the solution in spreading the Catholic gospel to all four corners of the world through the media, which is Immaculate Heart Radio. People could hear this halfway around the world. Call 888-887-7120. To all you men in the Phoenix Diocese, I'd like to see you this uh, Saturday, June 17th. I'm going to be giving a men's conference, St. Mary's Catholic Church in Chandler, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And for you couples out there in the Phoenix area, I'd like to see you in the evening. I'm going to be at Queen of Peace Catholic Church in Mesa from 7 to 9 p.m. talking about the beauty and the power of the sacrament of marriage. So I hope to see you there. Here's another good news item. This is a powerful one. Yeah. And d- does this surprise you? It doesn't surprise me because God's spirit can move in anybody. And uh, there's there's nobody who God cannot touch. There's nobody who's who's uh, who's impervious from the grace of God. Facebook CEO Mark Zupper, Zuckerberg, he gave a speech at Harvard and he ended with a prayer. Shocked a lot of people. Yeah, that was last month. CEO uh, and uh, Facebook owner Mark Zuckerberg He delivered the commencement speech at Harvard graduation. And after he ended his 20-minute speech, here's what he said at the end. He said this, quote, Before you walk out those gates one last time, as we sit in front of Memorial Church, I'm reminded of a prayer. And it's a Hebrew prayer. He's he's tapping back to his Jewish roots. The prayer is called Mi Sheberach, which means may he who blesses. That's what it means in Hebrew. He says, Uh, I say whenever I face a challenge that I sing to my daughter thinking about her future when I took her into bed, and it goes like this. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us to find the courage to make our lives a blessing, close quote. So he said, Mark Zuckerberg said, I hope you find the courage to make your life a blessing. Congratulations, class of 2017. 
Now, he was raised Jewish, and Zuckerberg, a couple of years ago, he identified himself as an atheist. But uh, last Christmas, again, by the grace of God, God is moving in his life as well. He posted last Christmas a Hanukkah message on Facebook, which basically prompted somebody to ask him if he was still an atheist. He says, no, I was raised Jewish, and I went through a period where I questioned things, but now I believe that religion is very important. And so that's good news, that you're giving a faith-based message to the graduates at Harvard. Good for you, Mark Zuckerberg. Hope we'll pray you into the Catholic Church one day. Isn't that great news? And we've got a Gus in Monrovia after the break. He's going to have some comments about Justin Bar- Biber. And so what I want to mention is, just before we turn it back to Debbie and Jerry, is that here at the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio, we try to give you principles, like Fulton Sheen said, moral principles do not depend on the majority of vote, right? Wrong is wrong, even when everybody's wrong. Right is right, even if nobody is right. That's our position, and what we try to do is put that in a beautiful way to help people understand the beauty of our faith. And that's what you're supporting here. The truth is being proclaimed here on Immaculate Heart Radio. And again, I want to ask you to be generous in making those commitments in honor of your father, for Father's Day, call us, and even if it's $25 a month, put it in your dad's name. Call 888-887-7120. And by the way, before I turn it back over, we're going to have a, a, a women's conference I'll be speaking at a week from Saturday here at the Sacred Heart Chapel. And if you want to come to that women's conference, man or woman, it's going to be a great conference. You can call 888 excuse me, 887-526-2151 and register or go to catholicrc.org. One more thing before we go to Gus after the break. I want to encourage you, like St. John Paul II said, freedom consists not in doing what we like to do, but in having a right to do what we ought. I believe we ought to be supporting our brothers and sisters in the Middle East. I think we ought to be supporting Catholic Radio. How about you? Do it by calling 888-887-7120. And at this time, we're going to turn it right back to Debbie and Jerry. And please be generous with your Father's Day gift for your father by calling 888-887-7120. Debbie and Jerry, it's yours. Thank you so much. I love getting Debbie and Jerry. (laughs) We always get Jerry and Debbie. So thank you so much, Terry. That really made my day. Actually, my year. (laughs) Well, I love the idea, too, about weaving Father's Day into this. How many times, you know, we there's so many things we can do for Dad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you look at your dad and you say, what doesn't he have? Well, he may not have a day sponsorship on Immaculate Heart Radio. He, <clears throat> he may not have any pledge of any amount in his honor. So let us uh, let us hear from you and, and honor your dad with your pledge. Join those eight people still on the line right now. Debbie, love to see us double that up to 16 right now. We really need to because we have a $20,000 goal this hour, and you're halfway there, halfway there, but only 16 minutes to go. And then we reset the clock for another new hour, new goal. So we really do need to double those calls on the line and really make a difference. $25 a month will send you the beautiful, great book that I actually now have, Father Tobin's book, 13 Powerful Ways to Pray. And boy, is this book powerful. So you want to maybe get that or feed a family for the rest of the year in Syria or Iraq. It's a Christian family who um, they are completely displaced because of ISIS and what ISIS has done to their town and their community and their parishes. You can help them right now with a pledge of $50 a month. If you can do that, we really would appreciate it. We have some folks wanting to feed two families and four families. Please do so. Every $50 a month pledge will do just that. 888-887-7120. And we want to thank uh, the parishioners at those two parishes who matched pledges uh, during the early part of this hour. St. Bernadette's in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Holy Spirit Parish in Sacramento. Time winding down in this pledge drive. We're about 75% of our full funding goal. And you know if you operate a household, if you have a business, you know that it, it, it does. it's not reasonable to go forward from a position of financial weakness. So... And, and for over 20 years, you've helped Immaculate Heart Radio stay on the air. What can you do right now to further this ministry, this mission that you're the key part of? 
888-887-7120. Now only $8,500 left and this hour's goal will be met by you. See how quickly? We really need to hear from you. Make a difference right now. Call in with a monthly pledge of $25 a month, $50 a month, $100 a month. How about a special gift of $1,200 and be a day sponsor. Your special day on your local Immaculate Heart Radio station with 12 announcements to really highlight your special event, your occasion, or your anniversary, birthday, or business, whatever you choose, it'll be your day for that $1,200 day sponsorship. But you got to call in. We've got to hear from you right away at 888 888- 887-7120. Any pledge, any amount valued so very, very greatly, especially now as we are kind of at a the real key point of the pledge drive, getting set to turn and come down the home stretch tomorrow. And you've heard us talk about the opportunity that you have to feed a family in Iraq or Syria displaced by war and terror and ISIS. $50 a month stays at Immaculate Heart Radio, sponsors an hour of programming. And is uh, will uh, trigger some other people to donate to feed that family in your name. And I want to read, Debbie, these are the words, <clears throat> excuse me, of a fifth grader in that region. This a fifth grade student, folks, said, I haven't seen anything of my childhood. My home was destroyed. My life changed. I'm afraid whenever I hear the sound of explosions. I feel very sad when I see the kids dying. I hope that God will bring everything back to its condition before and that God saves our country, Syria. Well, dear friends, we can't save the country. We can't change everything there. But you can restore dignity and honor and and prestige to a family that really is, quite frankly, going without food because of the problems they're facing. So with this wonderful partnership with Aid to the Church in Need, it's a Catholic charity under the guidance of the Holy Father. This is your opportunity to step up and really help families. Like you just heard from that young child, that breaks my heart. But if we can do something, let's do it. Call in a pledge of $50 a month. Make a difference. At least it'll buy them uh, food and, and give them food till the end of the year. That could make a big difference in their lives. 888 887 7120. We have room for you. Please call in. 888 887 7120. Any pledge amount, very meaningful right now. 888 887 7120. Now more from Terry and Jesse. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, and my saving strength. That's Psalm 18. Today's communion and to find at Holy Mass. We have Gus who would like to weigh in on Justin Bieber. Go ahead, Gus. You're on. You know, I just want to thank you guys for mentioning that. I didn't even know that he, he said something like that. That's huge that you guys are spreading that because I think a lot of times, especially us in the, in the apologetics world, we have this tendency of going, you know what? We got to be hard hitting all the time. We got to be, you know, but you know, sometimes, unfortunately, because of the sensibilities, we got to be "quote unquote" nice out there, you know, and say things that sound nice, you know, to people, and and uh, you know, reaching the the culture the best we can sometimes. And if if and what he said is obviously very profound and very true. Yep. But the fact that that you guys are amplifying that that's awesome because you get you know, in a time of so much evil and meanness. We need everything, all the help we could get. I agree. Gus, you gained a good point, and we're going to continue to proclaim the beauty of our faith. And when someone, I don't care who it is, if they say something that's true, we're going to give them credit for it, whether their political views or whatever their views are. When you say something nice, I don't care if it was Fidel Fidel uh, from uh, Castro from um, from Cuba, okay? <laughs> God rest his soul. But you know what? Sometimes if people say nice things, we got to repeat that because that's how it gets out. So thanks for your call, Gus. And awesome. and Justin Bieber, according to this article, he's a he's a professing Christian, so that's good. Absolutely. It says in the article, Bieber grew up in a Christian family and has previously identified himself as a Christian, saying that he prays regularly, and it's not clear what church he goes to at the time. Uh, but I think that was good that he did. Here's, here's another good news story. Does this make you proud to be Catholic? It sure does me. Amen. This is powerful. A Catholic who died saving a woman's life at the London Bridge Massacre, yep. he's definitely a hero. He's not only hailed as a hero, he is a hero. Who is he? His, his name will be echoed in eternity. 
His name is Ignacio Echeverria. He died tr uh, trying to help a woman being attacked by the terrorists at the London Bridge attack a f couple of days ago. And he was a, according to people that know him, he was a committed mass goer who always stood up for the weak, stood up for his friends. That's what his family said. Mr. Echeverria, 39, was among eight people killed on the attack last Saturday. Uh, early reports said that he'd gone to a woman's aid using his skateboard, skateboard as yep. a weapon <laughs> against a terrorist. Yep. Talk about chivalry. Talk about courage. Okay. His sister, Isabel, said on social media, she said, quote, my brother Ignacio tried to stop the terrorist and lost his life trying to save others. Wow. Does this remind you of Biblical. the words of Jesus yep. in John chapter 15, verse 13? There is no greater love than this, that a man should lay down his life for another. That's what he did. And the Spanish prime minister also said about Ignacio Cheverria that he will be remembered in Spain for his, uh, for, by the Spanish for his heroic and exemplary behavior. And she asked that he be awarded posthumously an, an order of civil merit. His brother, the deceased brother, his name's Joaquin, he told the Spanish newspaper El Mundo that Ignacio, the deceased, who was fighting off a terrorist with a skateboard, said, my brother never missed Mass on Sunday. And another friend told the newspaper, the Spanish newspaper, that Ignacio Cheverria, the deceased, had belonged to a group of young Catholics who had met weekly in Madrid, Spain, and they always stood up for the weakest. His brother said, when we were young, if my brother saw that someone was being picked on, uh, he always came out in his defense. God bless you, Ignacio. We'll see you on the other side one day. Eternal rest grant unto Ignacio Echeverria, O Lord. And let, and let your perpetual light. light shine upon him. May the soul of Ignacio, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. amen. Name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesse, that is so beautiful. I thought about what Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King said. A time comes when silence is a betrayal. Here, Ignacio took it out and said, look, you know what? Not on my clock. Someone's being attacked. I'm going to do my best to defend them. Let me ask you what, what we're doing here at Immaculate Heart Radio. Jesse, tell our listeners why you think it was important for them to call that number, 888-887-7120, and tie it in, again, to Father's Day, to just spreading the faith and standing up for Jesus, because we need to do that more and more. What are your thoughts on that? Well, today we have a bunch of uh, good news items yeah. of people standing up for Jesus in the, in the culture. Yep. And that's what we're trying to do here. Think about this. Your father in heaven, and even your fathers that are in purgatory, yep. they know right now they're completely detached from everything in the world. Okay? Nothing here means any Their house, the internet, their <laughs> nothing. They believe it all. Okay? <laughs> and so in eternity right now, they, are, they literally entered sacred silence. And they know the importance right now of the Catholic gospel. They know it is the true religion. They know that Jesus Christ is the only Savior of the world. They know the power of the blood of Jesus that flows through Mass. Right now, if your dad from the other side, purgatory or heaven, could come and talk to you, your father would tell you the best thing you can do for me, the best way you could honor me is... Continue to support Immaculate Heart Radio because the truth that's coming out from these airways is so important and people are being saved or lost as a result of either embracing the truth, being saved, or being lost, rejecting the truth. Your dad in heaven, your dad in purgatory right now is like nobody's business how important it is to keep Immaculate Heart Radio alive and to keep Immaculate Heart Radio on the airwaves. What are we getting here? You're getting Christian counseling for marriage, family, your kids, spiritual direction, Bible answers, biblical apologetics, evangelization, encouragement, national, local news with the eyes of the Catholic faith. You're being formed properly in the doctrines of the church. And last of all, as a result of all this, your love is being inflamed with God. Terry. You just need to call the toll-free number if you stand up for Jesus moment. 888-887-7120. Jesse and everyone, just individually, each of you right now, I'm speaking to you. Would you please seriously consider right now picking up that phone and being part of the solution here at Immaculate Heart Radio to support a family in the Middle East? 
Those folks need it. I've read that, heard that letter. Man, that made me cry. How about you? Yes, you I'm talking to. Please make an effort. If you can support us right now, you can by calling 888-887-7120 in honor of your father because it's Father's Day. Yes, I'm tying it into that. It's the fourth commandment, honor thy father and thy mother. What a great way to support Catholic Radio and support the families in the Middle East. And yes, I am my brother's keeper. Call 888-887-7120. Be part of the solution of evangelization and spreading the good news of Jesus Christ and his church. We'll see you again next time. God love you.